I played Metal Gear Ghost Babel for the first time recently, and if you really want to know all of my feelings about it, you can watch the full eight and a half hour stream. You don't have to, but I wanted to encapsulate some of my thoughts in a short video because I like to watch short videos where people talk about video games, but mainly I don't want this channel to be just stream archives because that's, that's lame. Ghost Babel is, in many ways, a different take on the Metal Gear Solid story with little adjustments here and there, which I am a total sucker for because life is a simulation and what are we even doing with our time on this earth anyway? Trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness. You've got the hits like Colonel Campbell and Mei Ling, but Meryl Silverberg is now Chris Jenner, and Hal Emmerich is now Jimmy Harks, and instead of being in the frozen tundra of Alaska, you are in the arid desert of Central Africa. It's impressive how much Ghost Babble manages to emulate the Metal Gear Solid experience on Game Boy Color, which I guess shouldn't be too surprising considering the series found its footing on the NES, but little things like being able to sidle up against walls and look further into the environment using the codec and general sneaking all make it feel like a, like a real legitimate Metal Gear game. And despite you know, basically knowing the main beats of the story before the game even got rolling, I liked seeing it through. I liked the dramatic death monologues of each of the bosses and the arguably too long codec conversations where Snake confirms that, yes, despite what you heard, war is bad and he doesn't care for it. That's pure Metal Gear, and, I, and I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of the cardboard box sequence, though. That part is bad and dumb, and I can't thank Twitch viewer Bad Humans enough for walking me through it beat by beat. Without their help, it would have been either a 15-hour stream or a very boring one with me quietly googling what color box I should be hiding in while listening to this, I mean, frankly, amazing soundtrack. There's also this weird puzzle, which I am torn on. You encounter a series of gates like this twice. The first time, it is a traditional video game puzzle where you have to figure out the button sequence to get through. When you encounter it the second time, you are free to try and solve it the way you did previously by pressing buttons, but the solution is to ignore the buttons and just walk through without messing with the buttons at all. It's just a walk through the doors. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> It feels like the developers just trying to mess with the player, which, hey, I'm, I'm all about that, especially Metal Gear. But I am almost certain that without Twitch watching my back, I would have just tried to solve it forever, so I, I can't decide if I think it's cool or not. Overall, I walked away very impressed with Ghost Babel. It looks like a Game Boy Color game, but it plays close to a Metal Gear Solid game, and I liked seeing the story to its conclusion. I guess, ultimately, what I'm trying to say is Konami should just follow in Nintendo's footsteps and remake it and release it on Switch like Link's Awakening. Okay, now my channel isn't just Twitch stream archives anymore. Congratulations to me!